Welcome. Hi again. My name is Dylan Black. It's Thursday. It's Daytime Ottawa. It's Rogers TV, and it's a pleasure to have you here. Two amazing refresh fundraising concerts are coming. We have all the details uh, coming up in moments for a great cause, of course. But first, a song. His name is Lee Bercy, and here is Darkest Before the Dawn on Daytime. The shadow in the night Another soul escapes through the twilight And another soul needs a savior Another night to live for you Lying on this solemn bed Fighting the demons inside my head had she cried another soul needs a savior another night spent on you when I said I wanted to inspire I never meant Start a fire. I never meant to to start a fire. No, I never meant to to start this fire. This hour is darkest before the dawn. So carry on and on and on. So carry. Carry on. When I said I wanted to inspire, I never meant to start a fire. No, I never meant to to start a fire. No, I never. Carry on. And there you have it, Darkest Before the Dawn. That is Lee Bercy from the band Project Mantra here today with us on Daytime Ottawa. Good to see you again on the program, Lee. Nice to see you as well. Thank you for having me. You're a busy fella. First of all, you're a third-term city councillor in Brockville. True story. Congratulations. Thank so you. you believe in good causes, and you've got two of them coming up. Definitely. They're, they're both affecting the same cause. Mm -hmm. So uh, first one, September 28th, Saturday, Kempville. And then on the 29th, Avant Garde uh, in Ottawa is the location. Tell us what these fundraisers are fundraisers are for. Absolutely. Well, for starters, it would be wrong of me to uh, talk about this without first acknowledging uh, Sam Crosby and Gordon Cook, who are uh, really figureheads who are spearheading this type of initiative that have uh, decided to include me. Uh, and I know that Sam is a dedicated activist and has been for a long time, and she's a very good close friend of mine as well from the Brockville area and has been a teacher for the last X number of years mm -hmm. and has influenced a lot of uh, people's lives in the process. Uh, and much like me, uh, we're activists. Mm -hmm. So we both sit on the uh, Brothel Nonprofit Housing Corporation board and we both uh, have been involved in a lot of different uh, initiatives. And uh, for her, I know this one's definitely very personal. And I also know that there's a plethora of tremendous talent who've attached their name to this. And quite frankly, uh, when we talk about uh, a lot of the things that I'm involved in when it comes to housing and homelessness, we also have to recognize that there are third world conditions in some of the indigenous communities that exist right here in this province and across Canada. Okay. And I think that's a lot of what this fundraiser is about. Okay. Uh, so you're raising money for unreserved Indigenous communities in Attawapiskat? Correct. Yes. Okay. So, so, what, what, so homelessness? 
Well, to some degree, yes, but we also have to recognize, I mean, clean drinking water, and that's why it's called Refresh, is, is something that's not uh, always easy to find. But the fact is, is uh, when recognizing that we uh, have a, a very wealthy population that does tremendously well uh, in, in many circumstances and definitely on every employment index, we also have to keep in mind that there are people who are struggling and that in uh, indigenous populations, uh, suicide is uh, very prevalent and uh, homelessness is remarkably prevalent and poverty is substantive. Mm -hmm. And as someone who uh, dedicates most of my time as an activist to talking about poverty, housing, and homelessness initiatives. It was a very simple marriage. Well, it's, it's going to be a busy weekend for you, though. Definitely. You've taken on a lot here. As I mentioned, uh, Saturday, Kempville, uh, Sunday, Ottawa. Uh, what can people look forward to? Two different shows? Yes. Uh, well, for starters, if I tried to name all of the different acts, uh, aside from myself, uh, who's participating in both, I know that there are a lot of really great, talented people from uh, across the region, uh, all of which are volunteering their time, quite frankly. And there's, the, if you go on to the uh, social media page that's been set up for this particular series of events, you'll see that there is no shortage of uh, great talent. So people can come, and they can learn. But if for some reason they don't feel like being political and they don't necessarily want to be a part of that particular element of the activism, the musicianship speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. You can come out and enjoy songs much like the one I just played and probably many much better. Yeah. Uh, and it's pay what you can. But in the process, oh, if we can learn together and, and you know unite around music, recognizing how important music is not only to our culture but also to indigenous populations mm -hmm. uh, and, and to social activism in general, there's a, a, a beautiful marriage to be had. Uh, just 30 seconds left here, uh, Lee. Uh, your band mm -hmm. is doing doing quite well. Project Mantra, you're working on a third album at Correct. this point. Yes, so we're finishing it today. I have a big shout out to my uh, new drummer, Morgan, who's actually in studio today to support me. We're heading to Cornwall shortly afterwards to finish our record. Uh, I really enjoy what I do, and it's been wonderful being that punk rock counselor who gets to ah. participate in these type of activities. Shake the boat regularly. a bit, yeah, exactly. for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, refresh fundraising concerts too this weekend. To search them out online. Lee Bercy, thank you very much for being here. and Continue the good fight. Thank you very much, Dylan, and we'll hopefully see you this weekend. Awesome. Great Cheers. way to kick off the show. More daytime coming up in moments on Rogers TV.